Wakamaya. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Dude. Do you know what it means? No. Wakala. Wakala. Wakamole Maya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here I go. We raise it. <laughs> bro, episode six. Welcome back. Underway. How are you feeling, bro? Good, bro. How are you? Glad to be here, man. It's a long ass week, bro. Long week, man. Long for sure. Week. Like so, I just I just finished my week and yeah, it's been a long week. Long week. Yeah. I think uh, fucking Thursday, bro. Mm-hmm. I thought it was Friday the whole day. I got home and it killed my vibe. I was like, no, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Bro, I woke up this morning not knowing it was Saturday. Damn. Like that's how that's how like that's in the rhythm you are. Yeah. That's yeah. sad. That's not good. <laughs> You think so? Yes. Just working for the man. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, that's not good. I woke yeah. up and I was like drinking coffee in the morning and I was like, wait, it's Saturday, bro. Like, why did I wake up so early? Damn. I usually try to like go to work like an hour before after on Saturday. So I sleep in for like one more hour. Yeah. That was the thing when we were construction. Yeah. Instead of five, six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it that helps. hour hits. I know, that bro. hour hits. It's yeah. like so helpful. Yeah. That hour hits because it's like, ah, oh, like you recharge a little bit more and then you get off a little bit earlier on Saturday. Yeah. Hell yeah. We would only work till three rather than like seven. seven? Yeah. But hey, three o'clock, bro. Like that's a whole ass day. Three o'clock. Yeah, bro. Yeah. For From sure. six to three. Yeah. <laughs> that's a whole ass day, bro. Like you're not working. That's not even half day. And you're glad to get out of... If you hell get out yeah. of three, you're like, oh my God, you're I got to Yeah. You can't wait to come home, do what you want. It's <laughs> yeah. like, man, I got so much time tonight <laughs> and I got to wake up early tomorrow. And all yeah. you do is come home and sleep. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be weird, bro. Because yeah. like, I'm usually used to... Podcasting. On Sunday. On you Sunday. know, I look forward to podcast on Sunday. Yeah, me too, bro. But I was excited to podcast. We I have know. so many things to talk about. Yeah. It is. You want to kick us off? Kick us off. Yeah, you do. Bro, so this group of hackers, yeah. they hacked Mexico, man. Really? They hacked, yeah, like this cybersecurity is messed heard, up in Mexico. I heard about that. Yeah, bro, I bet you their password was like one, two, three, four, five, six. Viva Mexico. That yeah. Was, that was, Mexico was, at one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, they got hacked, bro. They stole six terabytes of Terabytes, data. bro. Bro, let me put this into perspective. Yeah. Like 95, I'm sure, bro. I'm 100% sure that 95% of the people that are listening to this podcast right now, they're listening on a device that doesn't even come near six terabytes. Yeah, no. They six s- terabytes is like how many iPhones? Bro, you can produce a whole Hollywood movie with six terabytes. God damn. Like, that's how much information it is. Isn't Toy Story like one? The first one that came out, wasn't that like the one terabyte and it was like groundbreaking yeah well there you go imagine now six and they stole like um uh, emails and private dude, information private information probably like but it wasn't the mexican government it was sedena right the um fucking the defense the defense yeah what do you mean so it was the um the defense like you know how we have like the like cyber security yeah that's who they hacked, right? Oh, well, yeah, but they were able to get emails, personal from the president. information from the president. Bro, these emails are not just like whatever emails. No, they're not lightweight. They're heavy emails. They're yeah. conversations between them. The president and like governors. And they're, bro, they were using Pegasus, mm-hmm. which AMLO, the president, they call him AMLO. Yeah. Which is a great name. AMLO? 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 That's his name? That's how you pronounce it? Well, his name is Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, Obrador. but they call him AMLO. Oh, that's tight. I don't know that. That's that's a great name, bro. AMLO is like, damn. Yeah. What the fuck? You know, like, AMLO's coming. Oh, shit. Sounds important. But he's a whack-ass president. Yeah. um, He's not a good president. Yeah. But I guess, like, he had said that they didn't have the technology, Pegasus. And now that, like, Trent comes to find out he's been having it, he's like, oh, like, I didn't know we have it. When they asked him straight up, and he's like, what about all the journalists that are somehow dead? Mm-hmm. And you had their emails, like, how did you come up about that? Oh, that's intelligence that we didn't have. No. He's like, you had it, bro. Like, it's in your email. Yeah, they're already trying to cover up some, some things. Shady stuff. But apparently they're letting the information go in waves, right? Yeah. they Dude, this group... Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a really, it's a like group for the people, you know? Yeah. Like that's what they're trying to, that's the whole persona behind the hacking. They, 
they want justice for people. They want to fix the corruption in Mexico. And they're saying that they don't even care if they get arrested. Like, they want to be arrested because Damn. they want the government to work how it's supposed to, bro. Yeah, no, I think, like, all that criticism that, that AMLO gets, yeah, it, it's well-deserved. Like, he, he's, like... He was independent, bro. Like, he was the first independent president to be voted. He's from the Morena party, mm -hmm. which Morena is like, you know, for the people. And because I think before that, the president was Pan. Yeah. Right? Two years in a row, it was Peña Nieto, and then before that, it was Fox. Mm -hmm. But before that, you had like 60 years of PRI presidents, which PRI, I don't know what it stands for, but I know they're acronyms, PRI and Pan. So whenever he won, he promised a lot of people a lot of things. And like every good president, he just didn't deliver. So he started, you know, pointing fingers. He's, he, he never actually takes the blame. Yeah. He's kind of like deflects it. But now that all these emails are coming out, it's like most of the things that he didn't, you know, delivered on is because he didn't want to. He wanted to militarize like the air, like he wanted to militarize all cops yeah and then open up an airline specifically for the cops oh that's and they're shady. gonna have six airplanes yeah that the cops that yeah. are now military were gonna be able to fly around mexico that's shady yet they don't even have license to like pilots from here in the u.s are overqualified to fly in mexico they're like a type c type of uh, like um they don't they don't follow federal guidelines yeah. So the airlines in the U.S. Yeah. Can't fly in Mexico. So like, how do you? So they just like if it's an international flight, only to the airport and then back. Yeah. Okay. So basically, bro, what that means is that like, they don't go through security. They don't have like a TSA type of stuff. They just they don't even check the airplane sometimes, bro, before they take off. Oh, that's scary, yeah. bro. I'm on my way that. back from uh, Mexico. Uh -huh. I was sitting in front of a pilot and the pilot behind was like, honestly, he's like, I'm so sketched out flying Mexican Airlines because they don't follow regulations like the FAA does. Why don't they have TSA? I mean, I did not TSA. They don't follow FAA right, regulations. Uh -huh. So they don't have to go through all these procedures beforehand to make sure that the aircraft is okay to fly. Uh, so they just, you know. Mexico pray. doing some Mexico shit. Yeah. <laughs> but bro, uh, did you, were you... Were you aware that he does like every morning he does like a mañanera, which every morning it's like a, it's like a good morning show. It's like a talk show. Every morning he gets up, yeah. he delivers the news in front of the press every morning himself, bro. That's pretty cool. I don't know. That. No, that's not cool, bro. Why like, not? Why do you need that much attention? Like, why does it take up three hours of your day to deliver news? You got better things to do Good as play. president. Well, true. Thursday or Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, he was pretty upset yeah because he didn't get um he didn't get nom nominated for a Nobel prize of peace what the fuck he was upset oh, cause because he was he's trying to act like a journalist or something like that no because he said that he ended crime in mexico even though there's over a hundred people that are being killed in mexico every day every day a hundred people die every day not just die they get killed and this is because of the cartel or what this is because there's people out to get other people, you know, that same day that he was upset that he didn't get awarded, it was like nominated for the Nobel Prize mm -hmm. of Peace. They killed two governors. Right. So it's like, bro, no, like you can't even control your own like yeah. country. Why would you be nominated? And he was like, well, they're nominating Zelensky and he's, you know, uh, leading a war against Russia for his people, for freedom. Damn, this is a thing, bro. You know, <clears throat> this is a... Um... I think he's too... I think those prices are bullshit, so... Yeah, dude. And he's probably, like... He just wants to... You can tell he wants the power. Like, he oh, just yeah. wants to be recognized. Yeah. He has a lot of hate towards the rich. He does? Yeah, he hates the rich. He... Isn't he rich himself? Nah, he came... He grew up very poor. Oh, really? Like, very, very poor. But he's, uh, like, straight up, he's just following Venezuela's steps. Why? He wants all the power. Like, he wants to be a dictator. And then also, um, that's weird, bro. Yeah. Like, my bad. But another thing, like, why he had COVID. Well, he said they had, they said he had oh, COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he actually had heart problems. Yeah. So whenever they hacked, they found out that 
they released a press yeah. saying that he had COVID, but in reality, he was having heart issues and he had a procedure done. Uh. But they just told the people that he had COVID. They didn't want the Mexico to be like, you know, the Mexican president to seem weak. Mm. But it's like, no, like, yeah, you need to let us know when shit like that happens. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's why that's why people don't trust the government, bro. Yeah, like, honestly, I don't know how the government works in Mexico, bro. This is literally like, you don't I, know. It, I mean, I know, uh, but yeah. like with all the corruption and all the shit, they always try to hide and all the shady shit they do. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the same shit goes down here. It, like the same, probably some kind of corruption goes yeah goes on here in the U.S., but they're just much better at covering it up. But yeah. in Mexico, bro, is like. It's just working. I don't know. No, why. here I have no idea how it works in Mexico, bro. There's a lot of nepotism in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Basically, like you know, my son works for me. His son's gonna work for me. So, like people that were in power yeah. are usually in power because their dad was in power, because their granddad was in power. You know, mm. it's just delegated down to their kids. Bunch of nepotism, and there's not like they try to follow the laws. Mm-hmm. But there's like so much that they just let slide. So much, so much, bro. Yeah. Now, but, what do you think this information is gonna? Who's gonna? Who's gonna keep this information, bro? Like, are these guys are gonna sell it to maybe the cartel because they have a bunch no. of military information? What they've been doing is they've been giving like pieces, pieces. Mm-hmm. to journalists. But I mean, those journalists are risking their lives, bro. Yeah. If you live in a country where journalists are being killed for for speaking from, like for freedom of speech that's not a country you want to live in you know like or then is what i'm reading on the news even true is what i'm listening to even true you know mm-hmm. to a certain extent it's like where's the freedom of speech that you're supposed to have in a democracy you wait know? what was because it's not like the u.s bro no do they yeah they have freedom of speech yeah do they yeah. Have, does that apply yeah it applies okay okay pretty sure because i know canada is not like Freedom of speech. They don't have the shit. There's a, um, I think he's he's like his name is badass. Amlo is yeah. a great name, mm-hmm. but he's a shady guy, piece of shit old man, bro. Fuck. Dead ass. Yeah, just wants power, money, and yeah. How do you get mad about not being nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize? I'm surprised he didn't start his podcast. <laughs> he should start a podcast. Yeah, he should come on the podcast. Imagine. <laughs> You know, he... I don't know what to ask him. You know, he's like the Donald Trump of Mexico. Do you think so? Hell yeah. You know, he said that... um, That... He said something about Spain. Mm -hmm. He said that he tried to do a deal with Spain to start like a trading line. And Spain rejected him. And never... He said, well, they never apologized to me. Just like they've never apologized about conquering us. You know, and I'm not asking them to apologize. He's like, but I think they should apologize for conquering Mexico. It's like, what? <laughs> what? I don't know, man. It's He's a- like, yeah, they should. They should have to apologize. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna make them apologize. No, you what? Can't, you can't make them, bro. bro. That happened like 600 years ago. Yeah, like you wouldn't even be in power had Mexico not been conquered. It's so weird, man. Like yeah. something happened. Something happened to those people. Like when yeah. you get that much power, like maybe it's like recognition. Maybe they always wanted to yeah. be famous. They always wanted to be famous, bro. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But absolute power corrupts. You know. I believe so. For for sure. Especially but. how things run in Mexico, when that, you can literally do whatever you want. Like yeah. if you want to do something, bro, I'm pretty sure you can do it if you have that much power. If you have money, if you have money, you have power. There's the same. It's crazy. What was yeah. the what was the one saying in Spanish? Con dinero baila el perro. Yeah, there you go. With money, you can do whatever you want. In Mexico. That's why I'm going back to Mexico, bro, to run for president. 2040. I already got my slogan on, bro. <laughs> I'll vote for you. Uh, was your Max. Slogan? Wait, what? Fuck. It was something. No, I have it. Have it. Have it. All right, 2040. Because uh, you know, I gotta be like 34. I think. I think it's like the U.S. You gotta be like a certain age to run for president. Uh-huh. But it's like. <laughs> Un Mexico al máximo. Hey. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, you got to do it like a song. Un Mexico al máximo. Remember the, uh, what was that? Something was with one? Yellow, that one song? What's no, movimiento, movimiento Naranja. Remember? No. You never heard that song? No. You need a slogan song, bro. Like, you need a theme song. 
Damn. Yeah. You know our uh, fan, Sam, uh-huh. Sammy Boy, the governor of Monterrey? Mm-hmm. His slogan is, <laughs> Un Nuevo Nuevo León. <laughs> You motherfuckers, bro. Nuevo Nuevo Leon, bro. Uh, oh, my God, bro. He's a cool guy. He's cool, bro. Thanks for watching our clips. For real, bro. Like, <laughs> honestly, that shit is shocking. What the fuck? Yeah, I have no idea, bro. Somewhere we love you, bro. For real. <laughs> Shout out, bro. No, bro. But for real. That, honestly, bro, if I go back to Mexico and run for president, I'm probably going to be dead in the first two days. No, I don't say that, man. Hell yeah. You'll make it. No. Why would I? I don't know. Damn. You're going to receive some criticism for sure. Yeah. Sticking to Mexican topics. Did you uh, hear about that guy that burned the Frida Kahlo painting because he turned it into an NFT? No. So he said that it's going to live forever already in the internet. He said, what's the difference between the, the picture and making it into an NFT? No. His name is Martin Moderick. Moderick, I think. Uh-huh. Martin. I don't know. But I got to get his name right so I can... Wait, so yeah. he had an actual official painting from yeah. Frida. Yeah, he bought it for $10 million. Martin Mabarak, fuck you. Um, he bought it for $10 million. Yeah. It was a drawing from Frida Kahlo. It was one of a kind, like everything, you know? $10 million. He basically turned it into an NFT. And then, to make the NFT more valuable, he burnt the original painting. Bruh. The original drawing painting. Bruh. What's the point? And people were mad as fuck. And I'm 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 mad mainly because that's the most barbaric thing you can do. Like he's like, no, this is just the way the future is going to be. So you're telling me that if you were to buy the Mona Lisa, you would have done the same thing. I feel like he would have done that. Where is he from? He's I don't know. He's he has like a like a weird last name, no? M- Mabrek? Yeah. I don't know where he's from, bro, so- but there's like there's certain things that you have to preserve in history and bro, that's like a painting is one of them bro that's a piece of history bro you know that's like going back to like the nazis burning down paintings and books All right, you know i would i would have <laughs> been fucking burning them but no still yeah. like it's a piece of history yeah like even though it was fucked up I, like it still deserved to be preserved so yeah. people will learn and don't com- don't make the same mistake again. You know, like people study paintings to see how the artist painted the painting. Sorry, like painted the painting. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. Yeah. So it's like the collections that she has are limited because she's not like she's alive now. You know, like it's the same thing with Andy Warhol paintings. It's the same thing with, you know, Van Gogh paint paintings. Like you wouldn't burn something Especially a drawing, because you know that was her practice. Fucking crazy. But $10 million for a painting is super crazy. It's wild. The, and how much is an NFT? It's probably not even worth that, bro. Like, why would you buy an NFT? Because you can buy it and I can buy it. Yeah. What's, like... <sighs> I get the whole NFT thing, but I think that was a pretty... I'm sorry, wouldn't, bro. That was a stupid-ass idea. Why would you burn that, bro? Wouldn't it work kind of like currency? You know how, like, the, the dollar is worth... A, a percentage of the gold mm-hmm. wouldn't the nft kind of be worth the percentage of the painting yeah so why burn it that's what i'm saying you know and and like that's 10 million dollars i know exactly what happened bro what he got drunk <laughs> <laughs> maybe hey nah he wanted to pump the nft so people would buy it because even if you resell it you still make money off of it so if it's like super hyped and people are talking about it yeah like of course the value is gonna go up He's probably gonna do one of those, one of those scams. Like I don't know, bro. Like yeah. there's something behind it. Well, NFTs are like pyramid schemes for sure. Um, because if I buy it for a dollar and you buy it for two dollars, now it's worth three dollars. Someone else buys it, you know, like it's mm-hmm. it's. Ah, uh, okay, like the it's a pyramid like the scheme. system. Yeah, I still believe they're worth something though. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah, but e- but I feel not what more you're than saying, a painting. Though. No, bro, because it's no. like a physical thing, and it's yeah. like I history. Don't know. Yes, Frida Kahlo went through so much, you know. I believe in NFTs. Yeah, but you can never convince me that having a physical thing it's better than having a digital. Oh, for sure. Something, even yeah. though like I'm gonna die and I'm not gonna be able to take. It. I mean, same shit with the NFT, but yeah. still, bro, like, who sets the price for paintings though? Because ten million dollars and the painting was fairly small. But it's like still like ten million dollars. It's a lot of money. Even, I know like the art world is kind of known for like money laundering, 
but you know who who's actually like setting prices for this or did someone buy it for five million and then the next person said 10 million nah I, I remember a conversation but i can't quite remember but yeah dude like somebody asked uh an artist yeah a painter and they were like mm, you just make up your own numbers damn so dude yeah it's an just... intrinsic value that you put <laughs> towards it yeah it's objective i guess if you like the painting you'll pay 100 hell yeah or 200 that's such a power move bro yeah imagine if, imagine if we were trying to sell a podcast. That, it's fifty dollars. That's exactly where I was going. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like imagine in the future, like we stop doing this podcast and like it gains traction because people want to see like how people interacted before in twenty twenty two. Yeah. And it's like three hundred now. God. And then you know your kids be like, Oh yeah, I saw you my dad. Yo, yo, don't sell my fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't sell my podcast. Actually, yeah, if you're going to make money, fuck it. Just I'm holding it. exclusive rights to this. But, hey, man, fuck that guy, bro. Cool. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Mm. I'm pretty sure he didn't even burn the real one. Like, he just he just copied it. And he still has a real one. Yeah. I don't think he's stupid enough to do that. Well, the Mexican government is investigating, but... Well, really? Yeah. Why? Oh, because it's, it's like... Frida Kahlo is Mexican. Right, right. Mm. That's part of Mexican history. Yes. No, but I'm serious. Like, what if any, what if he did that to an Andy Warhol painting? Yeah, people will be outraged. I mean, people are mad. You know what surprises me is that, like, we didn't hear about the Mexican hacking from, like, a U.S. network. Never. No, you know, no Going no. back to, like, the hacking, I was thinking, like, I rem I heard of this news in Good Morning America, the, the painting that got burnt down. But the Mexican hacking? They no, never I wonder if they're trying to keep it on the DL. You know, like, they don't want people getting ideas thinking they can hack the U.S. Yo, it's got to be a, a hundred times harder to hack the Pentagon. Definitely, bro. Right? They have that on lock. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, yeah. There's so much like cybersecurity. Like, it's crazy. Talking about hacking, like fucking Uber got breached and all their data. No. Dude, yes. And they charged me $9 for a Uber pass. I haven't checked. Bro, you better check because I claimed it. Fuck that, bro. Yeah. Who we're getting hacked. People's licenses are on there. People's fucking insurance. Addresses, addresses. Bank accounts. Bank accounts. If you got their license and their bank account, you can hack their online banking. Yes. I'm just saying. I've seen that shit happen before, bro. And then what? Dude. I mean, every time... This had happened to me multiple times, bro, where people, like, take a good chunk of money out of my shit. Damn. And then that's when the bank is like, hey... Are you making yeah. this transaction? I'm like, no, 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 no. What are yeah. you doing? And uh, I, I always been able to get my money back. But what kind of websites are you visiting? Nah, bro. It's always <laughs> like, it's always like, uh, like you probably used it at the gas station. Yeah, maybe. It, at the first time that Apple Pay and all those like tap to pay came out, when I worked at the old uh, bank that I used to work at, we used to tell our our customers, don't use it. With the tap to pay because really? yeah, because a lot of them were getting like, they would put like a cover over it, and it would read your card information. I always thought it was safer because no, because be, I, I feel like if you slide or insert that card, that's yeah. when you like they get your information right. But I always thought that like the Apple Pay was no, especially if you have it on your iPhone. If yeah. someone taps your phone, and they they get they can get your card information. Mm, I've I would, seen it, bro. I've seen like where, like the transaction would would come through, and then the address would be one two three four five six seven, and it would go through. Yeah, because the, it's not like the website is smart enough. Dude, to, I, I I was thinking about like where did I put my card in? Yeah, this is weird, bro. It's kind of like my car got a, like a like an infection or something. You know? It like, is. It's a virus. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it was from all those like. When I was reselling sneakers, like, I would just put my card uh, yeah. in, like, virtual cards and shit. I, I know that's where it comes from. Probably. Definitely. Because there's Probably. a lot of scams that happens. Yeah. A lot of scams. Yeah, that's wild, bro. It's scary. Yeah. It's, it, like, it's scary because it's, like, you know it's going to take forever to get your money back. At least two weeks. Two weeks, bro. And then if they take a bunch and they only leave you with 10 bucks, good luck, buddy. Yeah. Well, the bank should have your back. But. Most of the time. Yeah, but what if they take? What if you have a lot of money in your bank account, and then they take like twenty thousand? The bank's gonna like gonna want to do some questioning. That's yeah. a lot of money. 
But you're most banks are you are covered up to two hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, okay. So good you're to good. know. Yeah, good you're to good. Know. Yeah, unless you're not good. Yeah, I don't know. I bank with Bank of America, so yeah, so two fifty. <laughs> they should have two fifty oh, yeah? insurance for sure. Yeah, Bank of America is a huge corporation. Dude, speaking of um, the hacking, I think everything happened because like the Bank of Mexico got hacked. Oh yeah. Mm. Damn. That's probably where they bridged all the data. Probably. Because that's like a lot of information. Did they steal money or just the information? I don't even know. Bro, I bet you right now data is worth a lot more. So much money, bro. Hell yeah. You don't think corporations are just buying data off Facebook? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I don't know because Mark Zuckerberg went to court because of the whole thing. He's still doing it, bro. On some level, he's still doing it. Yeah. I mean. There's no way he stopped doing it. That was his moneymaker. Yeah. Did you see Kanye got kicked off Instagram? (laughs) <laughs> no i don't know he, he, he oh said, yeah, yeah mark we used to be brothers uh-huh. bro him not showing up to virgil's funeral because he didn't like his designs is petty bro are you not not gonna show up to a man's funeral because you didn't like his last sign that is petty bro and then he saw uh elon musk was like welcome back to twitter my friend <laughs> elon Dude. musk is gonna buy twitter 44b he has to now yeah he got to like, cough up the money now. He pulled out because mm. he probably like realized like this is not a good idea. Well, how, um, Twitter's going to be around for a while. Yeah, for a while. But what happens when Twitter becomes MySpace? Facebook. Or I mean, I feel like Facebook's still pretty powerful. Yeah. Maybe not in the U.S. and younger yeah. generations. Yeah, shout out everybody sharing us on WhatsApp. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Yo, uh, yeah, for real, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That for shit is wild. Well. Like, I never thought we would Keep be sharing it on WhatsApp. 100% of the time is shared on WhatsApp. Yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. No, nah, you're good. You're good. Yo, but you know what I don't like about Twitter is that I get on there and most of the things that are, su- that are suggested to me is like things that would make me mad. Mm. Yeah, they want to keep you in the app. Yeah, it's like, why would, like, sometimes I have to get off Twitter because it's like every single thing that's like, oh, you might be interested in this. And it's like someone talking crap about, like, something I'm into. Mm. And it's like, you, I think you're doing it on purpose type of beat, you know? You, dude, you know how uh, Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, it, they've been pushing a lot of content, right? Yeah. So, like, I don't know what's happening. But I see a lot of people get a lot of views real quick. Hell yeah. And uh, which is a good thing, you know, like people are getting exposed. People put in the work and then they're actually getting rewarded. Yeah. Um, But bro, I was talking to I was talking to my homie Ryan this morning. Mm -hmm. He was asking about the podcast. I'm talking to him through Snapchat, bro. And then I I get on Instagram and the first thing I see is like his post. And I'm like, bro, this is weird. And I had liked it and it wasn't liked. Ugh. Right? Isn't yeah, that weird? It is. And it, it's an old post too. Like it's not a new post. I had commented and my like was removed. Well, you know how like that certain apps will ask you, um, is it okay for us to track your information through other apps? I always say no. You might be clicking no, but you don't think they're doing it, bro? I don't think they sh- I hope not. They're doing it, bro. For sure, for sure they're doing it. I know a lot of people are losing money since Apple started doing that. You think so? Yeah, because that that that's what it is, is your data. So mm-hmm. they want to keep your data so they can put a personalized ad on yeah. it. Well, I was, um, you know, remember how I brought up that thing where Uber is tracking all the data, all the analytics from every trip so that eventually they'll have a car that, that's like humanless. Yeah. And they'll just drive everybody around. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like the same thing, right? Of like a bigger corporation just buying information off Facebook. Yeah, right? the same thing. Okay. Which data just means like uh like your age, yeah. your your gender, your ethnicity and what you like. Hell yeah. And it's super valuable for like if we were to release a book and we didn't know who to sell it to and we wanted to like target a specific market, yeah. Then we go to Facebook and be like, Hey, I put an ad on this and this is what I want. And they already have all the data. Damn. And then that's how you pay for ads. And then that's how they get paid. So there's this book that I ordered this morning. It's called Automating Inequality. And yeah. basically it's saying that there's, they don't necessarily do it on purpose, but since there's a human programming a computer and creating systems, you know, a computer can only do and so much that we teach it to. 
yeah. right? So, you know, every time you click, like, I'm not a human thinks, it's picking up, like, everything that you're doing on your computer. Mm-hmm. Well, they're finding out that there's certain programs that are in place that are that have bias against, you know, whites and people of color. Mm-hmm. So, in certain instances, like, whenever you're typing in your name and your name's not spelled, you know, in a like it's not like spelt in english it's spelt in spanish mm. it it doesn't get like pushed as no. far so yeah i'm gonna start reading that book and i'm excited bro because apparently inequality is being automated inequality is being automated so we might be getting a little bit uh you know discriminated but not necessarily on purpose just because you know the the people that made the program you know they're they're putting in like you know they're not putting in names like Andres, you know, they're putting mm. in names like Andrew, you know, mm. so it, the program takes a little bit longer to process your information, which then kind of pushes you towards the back and all that stuff. So AI is becoming racist. Yeah. We need more Mexican development developments, <laughs> yeah. developers. Talking about AI, did you hear about that guy that got caught uh, cheating? playing chess because he he stuck some beats up his ass bro yes oh my god bro how bad do you want to get in win you know like do you think there was like money involved hell yeah there had to be money involved basically he stuck some beats up his ass to you know there was a person controlling them mm-hmm. outside of the match mm-hmm and he was plugging in every move into a computer into the computer and the ai was telling him how to respond so his fucking ass would vibrate and he would know <laughs> how to move the pieces yeah but it's like you had to have practiced this yes bro <laughs> for Ima- you to know how to do it imagine the conversation beforehand yeah hey bro you want to help me win a game <laughs> <laughs> dude they were they were gonna go half on the money hell yeah that dude probably that his friend probably helped him lube that shit up probably <laughs> he stuck it up his ass bro what i wonder like <laughs> how was it vibrating like in morse code yeah for bzz, sure bzz, bzz. Uh-huh. like bzz, bzz, bzz. two vibrations move to the left and how are you sitting on it bro i know I'm they it caught up. it because they had a metal detector and, and they checked his ass because he wasn't known for cheating Oh yeah. Okay, I was gonna ask you like, it was known for how cheating. do you how do you get to the point? And then, bro, like, did he have to pull it out like right there and then? Or what? I wouldn't make him. I'd be like, bro, bro, yeah, like that, that too. Yeah. And the games are so long. It's like, what if you had a shit, dude? I know. Ugh, you just have gross. to hold it in. I wonder if like he just wanted to win, or if he needed the money, or like, what's the reason behind sticking something up your ass? <laughs> people just want to win so bad bro they want to be yeah. like i don't know they just want recognition bro yeah they just they just want to win something they wanna, like, bro everything that we talked about was related to wanting fame and recognition yeah the mexican that's true. the mexican president yeah the dude with the nft that's what it is bro <sighs> but i think social media i think yeah shout out that guy bro like <laughs> that's, that's dedication bro you gotta admire the dedication you do i mean shit not anybody is gonna i'm not gonna do that shit. and then telling your friend you have to be like it has to be a friendship like me and you bro you can't just go to anybody yeah well if i came up to you would you be down like hey bro you know i'm about to win 250 we can split it 250 thousand 250 000, bro Bro, we'll split it. I'm helping you put whatever you want up there, <laughs> bro. Hey, hell no, bro. That's exactly how that conversation that guy, went, bro. bro. That is crazy. That's too much, bro. Do you know people lose mm. weight playing chess because you're thinking so much? You're burning yeah. calories. Your brain cells are moving a hundred times. That's the word we we're trying to look for last podcast. Brain cells. Brain cells. <laughs> it's what we're missing yeah for sure bro sticking to mexican subjects did you hear about the mexican week that the great britain bake-off show did no talk no. about it okay bro so i heard a little bit about it but i don't know um i didn't watch the full episode because it kicks off not even a minute in and there's already kind of like a uh, joke you know the first thing they do is like all right we can't have any racist jokes which if you're starting off a show like that it's like you got to let your co-host know you can't make racist jokes. So you're telling me that in every other episode you are doing racist jokes? Yeah, well, hold on, hold on. Like, is this like a network show or what? This is a Netflix show from Great Britain. Ah. From the UK. 
Oh, so they start off. Okay. All right, not you. It's Mexican week, but we're not gonna have a single joke. Not even Juan. And uh, it's like, bro, that's like your gimme joke, you know? know? Like that's like uh, I've heard that a thousand times, yeah. you know? Well, mm-hmm. they, bro. I was on Twitter. I, I wasn't gonna watch the whole show. I was like, I'm not even gonna give them a view. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> yeah. Not. I'm not gonna piss myself off watching this. Uh-huh. Whatever, you know. So I just decided to look it up on Twitter. Bro, there's a picture of someone peeling an avocado. Mm-hmm. Peeling, bro. Peeling. Like, they're oh, peeling. The, they're not cutting it in half. They're not cutting it in half. They're peeling I it, I mean, bro. they're for Britain. I don't, I don't really they're blame British, them. They're British, bro. But they colonize every fucking country. Fuck, you're yeah. right. Bro, I heard something crazy. Like, every seven days, uh-huh. a country is celebrating their independence from Britain. Every seven days? Every seven days. <laughs> what the fuck? They colonize half the world. That little ass island colonize half the world these ah, they were like real alpha males i guess huh fuck yeah just to go around or they were just so advanced on Uh, they had a great navy oh yeah yeah but another picture bro Uh uh-huh dude tell me because i'm gonna tell you about some sea shit that is crazy they they did pan dulce Uh uh-huh and they call it seashell bread no they they call uh la concha Seashell bread, bro. What the? Fuck? <laughs> and it doesn't even look good, bro. And then they're like talking about the tortilla, and it's like you know, it's just corn, and but it's like you know, it's a tortilla, but it can be thick, it can be too thin. You gotta get it just right. Uh-huh. What? Like, bro, chill out. You're like, I don't know. That is so weird. I, I personally, yeah, didn't find it offensive, but a lot of people from Twitter and Mexican Twitter. That I have, <laughs> uh-huh. they were pretty offended. But first of all, they're the British. British people are known to be racist. I mean, they're nationalists. They are, they only care about their country, and they're known to be British. They're known to be racist. You know, like a couple of years back, there was a guy named Jeremy Clark- Clarkson. He's mm-hmm. on Top Gear. Um, he was reviewing a car from Mexico, and he said, "You know, I'm not surprised. It, he's like, I'm surprised it doesn't look like a tortilla." You know, so they're no further. Yeah, like every time yeah. I hear like someone make a joke, and they're always kind of like, I don't know, yeah. like. But I don't know if I didn't get offended because we've grown up with like, we grew up in like the U.S. where we have like a taco mayo, you know, mm. appropriating our food. We have taco bueno down the street. We have Mexican restaurants that are owned by people that have never been to Mexico, and you know we've been. Growing up, you know, like we got Donald Trump celebrating Cinco de Mayo with, with the, the taco <laughs> salad. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got Chipotle saying it's authentic Mexican food. Yeah, the so joke. It's like we're kind of like we built this callus of just like yeah, whatever. Yeah, you the know? joke is burnt out. Like yeah, it's like, just not whatever. funny at this point, bro. Okay, so seashell fucking s- seashell bread. Come on, bro, for the winner. <laughs> Get your jokes up, bro. Come on, for real, bro. There is this a uh, fucking. This one time I went to a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. I'll put him on blast. I went to Ted's Cafe Escondido. You don't like it? No, I'll put him on blast. Okay. Um, And I went there and I didn't have my license. I had my passport with me, my Mexican passport mm. from Mexico, right? Yeah. And I went to order a margarita. I think my license was being mailed. Yeah, it was being mailed. Yeah, because they weren't printing them. During COVID, right? No, oh, no, no, no. So we went, and I have my passport, and I took my passport because I knew I wanted to get a beer, and I was like, oh, I don't have another form of ID, and I don't want to carry around the other important document, you know, like I'd the rather list- certificate. Yeah, I was like, I'd rather just, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I show it to the waiter, and she's like, Oh, hold on, let me check it. She takes it to the back, and she comes back. She's like, Sorry, we can accept it. Why not? What? She's like, Yeah, it has to be. Um, it has to be government issue. It, it is, is government, government issue. issue. And she's like, sorry, we can accept it. And I'm like, you're not accepting a Mexican passport at a Mexican restaurant? Yeah. What? Now that is always weird, man. I was like, what? No, no, no. Yeah. Like, like I, I've experienced that like an onky and shit like that, too. Yeah. It's just like, <clears throat> bro, like, you think I would show you a fake passport? Like that—that that would be a federal fence. Like my, uh, getting a beer is not that important to me. I got pretty upset. I would too, honestly. I'm like, bro, like you're. you're first of all, you're not Mexican. <laughs> yeah. You know? uh-huh. Second of all, 
like this is a Mexican restaurant where there's probably you know some people in the back probably don't have a passport. Mm, you know? Good point. Good it's like, point. bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. I I've been asked the manager. I was like, yo, can you for real not take it? And he was like, no, nah, sorry, it's not government issued. How is it not government issued? <laughs> it's my thing. Dude, I experienced the same thing. Like I was with one of there was a dude I was with, and then yeah. he had a he had his Mexican license. Yeah, and uh, they would not sell him beer at the gas station because it was like it's not a state ID. And I was like, bro, he bro, he's sixty five <laughs> years old. You can <laughs> obviously tell that he's yeah older than twenty one year old. And then at that point, bro, I was like, I was about to like go crazy, but I was like, yeah. you know what? I was like, Juan, just put this shit back, bro. Let's just go somewhere else. We went to the corner store. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Damn, bro. That's, that's sad. Uh, yeah, what, that's why we're probably not offended by a fucking some British people peeling an avocado. Yeah, because there's like real life shit that happens yeah. to you. It's yeah. like, bro, whatever. Like, I grew up in the U.S. You saying some words on a show that nobody's watching. Fuck off. <laughs> you know? Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, like, British people are known to be racist. It's like nothing new. Dude, you know how they like we were talking about like colonizing shit. Yeah, you ever heard about like General Butt Naked? No, <laughs> bro, this is wild. Like this motherfucker would like they were like colonizing, right? Yeah. Or I don't know what the fuck they had going on, but this motherfucker would take off his clothes, bro, and like go to war and just kill people like butt ass naked. Damn, that's a power move. You're killing people naked. You're an alpha, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. Nah, hell Dick no, out, this- butt out. This dude was crazy, bro. <laughs> like, he would kill innocent kids and, like, take oh, their shit. hearts out and just eat them. Oh, shit. What, where was he from? Dude, I don't know. He's like probably I, British. I, probably, yeah. but... And they, they used to chew this, like, this plant. Yeah. And um, it has the same compound as, like, methamphetamine. So, <laughs> oh, so they my were just God. sailing, bro, on a fucking speedboat. Oh, my cracked God. Cracked up. Cracked out, bro. Where were you going to tell people. me about the ocean? Damn, the general that. butt naked <laughs> shit. Isn't that wild? That's his name? Yeah, it's like, you look it up. It's a documentary. I was very tired when I was watching it, but yeah. I was, like, highly impressed. Goddamn. This dude is wild, bro. Like, that's a different kind of human. Hell yeah. It was also a different kind of times, yeah. but... When was this? Like, the 1800s? I'm sure, bro. It was back then where people used to call a nice shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Fuck that. All the people on the boat were, like, super skinny, chewing mm. on those methamphetamine leaves fuck wow that. hell yeah i'll be scared as fuck me too i'll be so scared bro if you had to go back in time okay hold on would you rather go back let's say to colonizing people mm-hmm. or be in the colon or being okay would you rather be the people conquering or the people defending the people conquering bro because you know how that story goes <laughs> Shit, that's true. Yeah. That was, that was a bad one. But, um, I don't know, man. Just, like, I guess it will make you, I don't know. It sounds like a fucked up life. Hell yeah. <laughs> sounds so fucking... Bro, you would, like, sell off and then you just had no communication? No, you don't even... You don't well, you even maybe know. have a map. but if How you... accurate was it? Right, who mm-hmm. drew it? Yeah. People that previously went and then... Dude, Dude you're just taking their word for it. Yeah. It's not like a hundred percent. It's not like you're GPSing your way to Spain or Mm-mm. another country. Straight map. Straight map. Following right. the stars. Yeah. And then you just get there. The and you see stars, a huh? Yeah, they'll do that. When was the last time you looked up at the sky and saw a star? I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. It was like like a week ago. Because I was working like hella late. Oh uh, yeah. And then it was getting dark. And then I see this thing just like pulsing and i was telling my coworker, i was like bro is that a star mm. and he's like yeah and i was like no way like look at the way that it's shining and he was like no they do that dude and then speaking about that one of these dudes that i was talking to he said he saw like a line of like stars there was like four yeah. but they weren't stars bro there was like satellites that they were being launched and then he showed me a video on youtube and it was real because i didn't believe him at first Damn. i was like there's no way he's like bro I'm telling you, there was like four lights that were like parallel to each other and they were just going up super fast. You know, and it's probably the military doing some some training. Probably. That or Elon Musk selling, sending yeah. like satellites, satellites for their shit. Yeah. Did, um, 
Did you hear about what the president said? That we're closer to a, an Armageddon nuclear war. Joe Biden? Now, yeah. Now than in the last 60 years. No. When the Cold War didn't end it. I don't think the Cold War ever ended. You know, Russia against the U.S. That shit never ended, bro. Like, it was always just like. There. Yeah. Like the animosity oh, yeah. was always there. Yeah. I still feel like that. Oh, I feel yeah. like there's always like. There's always tension, like, ever since I started yeah. hearing about, like, Russia, like, it always seems like there's tension between Maybe Russia and the Maybe it's the propaganda that we grew up with, you know, like, Ru the Russians were always the bad people, and now, like, and then, like, after 2010, it was always, like, someone in the Middle East was the bad people, and yeah. then, like, it's, like, the Asians are the bad people. It's all the prep propaganda that we've been being fed, bro. I'm pretty sure. But I don't, but think I don't know, bro, because they be doing some weird shit, like, Putin... Yeah. Like, he's a wild motherfucker, bro. Hell yeah. Like, all that shit with Ukraine it's still just, going on. People don't talk about it no more. No, nah, bro. People are talking about it for sure. Bro, uh -huh. just like he was crossing a bridge yeah. to Crimea from Russia. He crossed a bridge to Crimea, which is, that's an important bridge. That's how, like, the Russians are getting their supplies to Ukraine. And then three days later, Ukraine was like, yeah, you ain't having this bridge and blew it up. Damn. They blew it up, bro. And three people died. And then Ukraine and Crimea are just like Twitter beefing. It's really? Not beefing, but they're like just Twitter talking. And it's like, bro, like, ugh. Yeah, that's weird too. I've been seeing like. Social media war. Yeah. It's weird. Joe Biden did the marijuana shit over Twitter. Yeah. Like, do we really using social media to that's like. That's the new platform. Bro. So you can't dip, dip, dip platformize someone. You know how like Donald Trump and. Uh, Andrew Tate got the, like, they took a relay platform. Oh, Andrew Tate. You Tate's. are taking someone's word out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope, I hope it gets better with Elon running it. Nah, I don't think so. I feel like. He came up with, he came up with, like, the most simplified solution from Ukraine and Russia. What did he say? He said something like, Ukraine just give whatever Russia wants. You know, like, mm. no, like, people want their state. Like, people want their country. But. Going back to the nuclear war, bro. Yeah. North Korea launched a nuclear, not nuclear, a missile over Japan. And the sirens went off in Japan. Mm -hmm. And everybody decided to, like, take cover, which is like, how do you take cover from a missile? You know, like, <laughs> that shit's... Especially a nuclear bomb. Dust in your ass, you know? 100%. And um, the, apparently the U.S. is like, okay, like, Russia has allies. Yeah. You know, so we're closer to a nuclear war now than ever before. And I'm like, fuck, Joe Biden ain't no JFK. Mm -hmm. You know, JFK was dealing with this shit 24 7 on the phone with Cuba, on the phone with fucking Putin, you know. He would show, like, bro, look what I got. You got that? I got this 10 times better, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think we're equipped for a Cold War. Nah, I think I have, I have, I have trust in the US. Yeah. Well, yeah bro we have a powerful military like honestly like no one can fuck with us <clears throat> like if they got something if they got know. something that they're showing off like we got that shit too under the sleeve that people just don't know i don't know um i don't know like what where i heard this but apparently like donald trump brought back a lot of u.s military from like places we had him strategically oh yeah mm -hmm. so he brought them back so now like russia is going to those places so it's like we're already kind of starting a little slow. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they pull out of uh, Afghanistan or something. Like, like yeah. they pull out of the Middle East and they left a bunch of equipment, bro. Like <sighs> a lot. A lot of equipment. Fuck. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Like I hear some like military people talk about it and they were like, it was kind of weird, bro. Like it was just unexpected. Like people have been, they heard, you know, like they heard the news that they were going to be pulling out. But like. The operation started literally like from one day to another and they just sent as many people as they could home and they just left all this american gear and Fuck. so now you know, the bad yeah. guys took it hell yeah so now when someone goes back over there now they're gonna have night vision and military all this fucking technology weapons and shit like that's pretty bad bro hell yeah because that was the advantage of the u.s you know yeah like better technology yeah but now some of them have that shit that's scary and it's so weird bro like 
they live such a different life than we do. Like they're yeah. willing to die for a cause that seems stupid for me and you. <laughs> yeah. But to them is really fucking important and it's like fuck the US, you know? Like Yeah. It's just fucking sad. That whole shit is sad, bro. Yeah. The whole shit is just I don't know. I hope I don't know, bro. Like what can we leave There's in peace, no bro? You know, just like do your thing over there, leave us alone, we leave you alone. You know what a coworker was telling me? Mm-hmm. That um she She's like older, like a lot older than than we are. Mm-hmm. Um, and she said that growing up, there were she grew up during the Cold War, so that's like that gives you an idea of her age range, right? She said that the government would go house to house selling you bunkers, mm-hmm. and they would install the, the bunkers. So if you go like to like an older neighborhood, and you see like storm shelters. Those were actually like nuclear bunkers that the government was selling to the people. And they were like building them. And, you know, if you heard an alarm, you would go into your bunker and take cover. Mm-hmm. Right. From like the nuclear disaster. It's not like you like that wasn't going to protect you or anything, but it was giving you like this peace of mind. Right. Well, she said that once the war ended. They got rebranded as storm shelters. Mm-hmm. So that's where the storm shelters came from. So that like oh, shit. interesting because yeah. we got a lot of them in the state. Yeah, so like the ones that you see that are like oval at the top and they have like a vent, those were originally bunkers. That's wild. Yeah, because you know how they look different than like the tornado shelters that they sell now, where it's in your garage and it's like square, mm-hmm. like an actual room. Yeah, she said that they had one and they had everything in there: couch, fridge, a mini stove, waters, food, and it was like a thing that you would prepare for. Did I remember I was working on an old house like this is like three years ago and uh, I found this letter from like 1951 and it was about this uh, it was about this lady that she went to she went to England she was in the military she was 21 year old she was 21 and then she was writing a letter to her family here in Oklahoma it's like I've learned so much Mm -hmm. like all these people are hella weird over here. They're racist. They kind of don't yeah. like the military. We always get bad looks. But I'm doing fine. Uh, and then she sent like uh, like stamps and money from wherever she was at. And I was like, kind of like, yo, like you left this behind, bro. Like, yeah. And the 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 owner was an old lady, so it was probably like I don't know who it, it was, was. Probably her. It was probably her. She just probably doesn't remember. That she wrote it. I might have a, a screenshot of it. That'd be cool. I'll let you read it, but I don't think I'll put it out on the pod. You know, that's too personal. Yeah, that is kind of personal. <laughs> yeah. But it was still cool as hell. hell like, yeah. yeah. It's crazy how, like, we read about history and we read about the Cold War and we're going through that and nobody really cares. Everybody's just going on, on about their day. Mm-hmm. But when you would read it, like, when you read it from a history book, you, you imagine everybody's tense as fuck. Everybody's scared and just looking at the sky, thinking that a nuclear weapon is going to just land on us. Yeah, but he, now we're living it like in our flesh. We're living through a cold war because technically, yeah, we're not directly in war with Russia, but we're funding Ukraine that's against Russia. So technically, we are in war, but technically, we're not. So it's a cold war. Yeah, and now uh, we're just like, hey, whatever. You know, like we're more worried about inflation. Mm-hmm. We're more worried, which about- we should be. But you know, like yeah, when it really hits, is when. Did you hear about shit. OPEC? Um, the oil company. Mm-mm. Okay, well, Russia pulled out, and apparently, like, they're gonna stop producing two million barrels a day, so gas prices are gonna go up 